Hello friends. Now I am going to demonstrate you the graspers. The graspers are very important in laparoscopy and this is the first instrument which you will introduce inside the abdomen just before starting any laparoscopy because even if you want to do operative laparoscopy initial few minutes time to be given in diagnostic laparoscopy so that you can see the anatomy you can explore the surrounding and after that you can perform the laparoscopic surgery you can start so the graspers are of three type one is a traumatic other is semi traumatic and third is traumatic grasper so this is a traumatic grasper a traumatic grasper is very safe for doing diagnostic because it doesn't create any trauma a traumatic grasper is described as double action jaw fenestrated low seriation grasper if you see here it is double action that means both the jaws are moving some of the graspers are single action means in one jaw will be straight and other only other will move but in double action jaw both the jaw will move so this is double action jaw fenestrated fenestrated means if you will see here there is a hole that is fenestration for tissue to get less trauma and it holds also better and low seriation if you will see there are seriations there that is seriation cut and these seriations are very low seriations so even if you hold a barbell like i am holding my gloves and my finger you can see it is not cutting so this grasper is fenestrated double action jaw low seriation graspers and that is called a traumatic grasper this graspers is first you should use in laparoscopic surgery because once you handle the fallopian tube or if you handle the barbell it will not get trauma and bigger the jaw less traumatic it will be so that's why some of the atraumatic bowel graspers are much bigger jaw so that it creates less trauma in the instruments as we know that length of the laparoscopic instruments are of three size you can have the laparoscopic instrument of the 20 cm 28 cm 36 cm and 45 cm 28 cm instrument is used generally for pediatric surgery and 20 cm for junior pediatric 28 cm for senior pediatric and 36 cm is used for adult so this is 36 cm instrument this is rotating wheel if you will rotate the instrument will rotate this is for connection of the monopolar and this is ratchet ratchet is used for locking it so if you will close it it is locked and instrument will not jaw will not open so how to hold the instrument you should hold the thumb in the lower hole the ring finger in the front hole middle finger should be here and index finger should be to rotate the rotating knob and the little finger should be used to close and open this is called as in grip that is under grip some people they use by the over grip this is over grip which you can hold on the top so this is how you will hold the instrument so this was regarding the a traumatic grasper after that we will use the traumatic semi traumatic grasper so this is now semi traumatic grasper semi or semi traumatic grasper has the really deep seriation you can see and it didn't have fenestration and the seriations are quite deep so it this is creating a plastic deformation of the tissue a traumatic grasper is giving elastic deformation of the tissue but semi traumatic will give plastic deformation that is irreversible deformation because it has a very deep seriation so if you use this grasper for the purpose you may have the problem that it can create permanent tissue deformation and that create inflammation so this a semi traumatic grasper you should only use if you have already decided that you want to remove that organ like if you want to do appendectomy you can hold the appendix with the semi traumatic grasper but you can never use it to hold the appendix if you are just doing diagnostic you can also use it for the purpose of you doing college cystectomy and wherever like ovarian cystectomy to strip the ovarian cyst with the outer ovarian cortex this is also double action jaw 
डीप चिरेशन बट विदाउट एनी फेनिस्ट्रेशन तो दिस वॉज सेमी ट्रोमेटिक ग्रास पर नाउ द थर्ड ग्रास पर विच वी हैव इज कॉल्ड एज द ट्रोमेटिक ग्रास पर दिस ट्रोमेटिक ग्रास पर इज एसेंशियली क्रिएटिंग ट्रामा दिस इज द रेप्लिका ऑफ आवर एलिज फोर सेप सो इन दिस ग्रास पर इफ यू सी दे आर टू टू थ्रू द अपर जाओ एंड थ्री टू थ्रू द लोअर जाओ so it cuts like elis for sep this grass pad should only be used if you have already decided to puncture the organ you should never ever use this traumatic grass pad to hold the bowel or to hold the tube otherwise it will be perforation you can hold the gall bladder sometime but take care if you are using the gall bladder to hold it there will be pricking of and it will leak the bile so immediately you should shake it This traumatic grass pad is very useful for edematous tissue where there is no way to use the other grass pad and it is repeatedly slipping and repeatedly it is slipping tissue is going away then you can use traumatic grass pad like in ovarian cystectomy sometime to hold the thick endometrial cyst you can use it and edematous inflamed thick walled gall bladder also traumatic grass pad is used but in that situation we are already knowing that that there will be perforation and we are ready for that perforation to aspirate that's why it should not be any time used to hold the bowel or fallopian tube so this was regarding the grass pad so we could learn here that there are three grass pad a traumatic semi traumatic and traumatic So thank you very much this is just about the grass pad in the another videos we will learn about the other instrument have a nice day thank you very much